A blessed and wonderful Sunday morning po sa inyong lahat. Sa lahat po na taga-subaybay, mga spiritual viewers, isang mapagpalang araw po ng linggo sa inyong lahat. Ipagpatuloy po natin ang ating pag-aaral dyan po sa book of Colossians chapter 1 na ang ating uh, series at ang theme is about Jesus is Lord over all. Shout out po sa lahat ng mga kapatiran sa Bacolod East Side Church of Christ, dyan po sa Paranas Church of Christ in Western Samar, at dito po sa City Church of Christ Talisay, at sa lahat po ng mga Churches of Christ, Christian churches all over the world, a wonderful moment of Sunday worship para po sa inyong lahat. At dyan po sa Paredes family na palaging uh, nasa online na uh, worship natin, maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na magkaroon ng spiritual feeding at pagninilay-nilay sa salita ng Diyos. Colossians chapter 1 verses 24 to 29 po ang aking babasahin. Ito po ang pagkasabi. Now I rejoice in what I am suffering for you and I fill up in my flesh what is still lacking in regard to Christ's afflictions. For the sake of his body, which is the church, I have become its servant by the commission God gave to me to present to you the word of God in its fullness, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but it's now disclosed to the Lord's people. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery which is in Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one we proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom, so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. To this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. That's the word of God for today. Mga kapatid, how can I be a good minister or how can I be a good servant of Christ? How can I serve Christ well? Ito po ang kat- maaring katanungan sa puso ninyo ngayon but narito po ang sagot ni Apostle Pablo mula sa talatang ito. Ang sagot po ni Pablo, we serve Christ well by exalting Him in every way. Ito po ang ating talakayan, Jesus is Lord over all by serving Christ well in exalting Him in every way. Dito po sa Colossians chapter 1, mga kapatid, ang layunin ni Apostol Pablo pag ating itong titingnan ay tulungan ang mga Colossians Christians upang makita nila ang kahalagahan and the preeminence of Jesus Christ, ang kanyang pagkasupremo. So Jesus is Lord over all. Also in the process, sinimulan po ni Apostol Pablo na kanyang inilarawan ang kanyang sariling ministry doon po sa kanila. A ministry that is all about Jesus Christ. Now mga kapatid, tinawag po ni Pablo ang Diyos na to be a steward. O, tinawag po si Apostol Pablo ng Diyos to be a steward uh, of the Church of God and the message of Jesus. Para siguraduhin po to ensure that Jesus is proclaimed fully at ang lahat po ng mga tao at lahat ng mga Christians doon sa Colossae ay magiging matured sila. Now, as we consider the ministry of Paul, makakatulong ito upang ating maintindihan what God has called us to. Ano po? We are called to be stewards as well. Tayo po ay mga manager para tayong manager ng Bacolod City Water District. So bilang mga people of God, kailangan nating ihandog ang ating mga uh, buhay to the proclamation of Jesus Christ at sa paglago ng kanyang iglesia para po sa kanya. So habang inaaral natin ang message na ito mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, mga spiritual viewers, magkaroon tayo ng mas mabuting pagintindi sa calling ng Panginoon. Di po ba? Sister Jolly and Dr. Douglas. And at magkaroon po tayo ng responsibility as stewards of the mystery. Brother Robert and Sister ESP Discutido dyan na makulod east side. At si Sister Emily para dilaraga. Magandang araw po sa inyo. 
Dito po sa Colossians 1, 24-25, mga kaibigan, ang nature po ng stewardship ni Apostle Pablo ay uh, itinuro niya. Ang kanyang ministry is worthy of suffering. Yan. So sabi niya, Now I rejoice in what I am suffering for you, and I fill up my flesh what is still lacking in regard to Christ's afflictions for the sake of the body which is the church. So, binigyan liwanag dito ni Apostle Pablo ang kanyang ministry dahil ang kanyang ministry, his ministry was or has been accompanied by suffering. Mayroong kasama na uh, pagdurusa ang ministry, pagtitiis ang pag, uh, ministry ni Apostle Paul. Ngunit hindi makita ni Pablo ang kanyang suffering at uh, na maging, uh, hindi niya nakita ang kanyang suffering na maging dahilan for discouragement. Sa halip, nakikita niya ito uh, as a reason for joy. Ikinagagalak niya kahit nasa, ano, nasa bingit siya ng mga kamatayan. No? Because Jesus is Lord over all. Habang ang uh, mga kaibigan, habang ang, mga, ang, ang suffering ni Jesus purchased our salvation sa pamagitan ng suffering ng kanyang mga followers, that the message is carried to the world. Yan po ang uh, commitment ni Apostle Pablo. So ayon po sa verse 25 ng Colossians 1, ang ministry ni Apostle Pablo ay ibinigay ng Diyos sa kanya. Ang pananaw ni Paul sa kanyang ministry ay hindi isang bagay na kanyang pinili. It is something that has been entrusted to him by God. Yan po ang pagtingin niya. So God has given him a stewardship. God has entrusted uh, him with a responsibility to the church. Kaya Jesus is Lord over all sa kanyang buhay. At ayon sa verses 24 to 25, ang ministry ni Paul ay isang ministry for the church. Ang stewardship na ibigay ng Diyos kay Apostle Pablo is to care for the church by making the word or the word of God or the message of God fully known. So the rest of the passage ay naglalarawan po ito ng minsahe, naglalarawan po ito ng mga method of proclaiming the message and the goal of the message. So kaya sa linggong ito, ang tanong ay, how can we make Christ Lord over all? Kailangan nating paglingkuran siya ng maayos ng buong puso. Huwag nating kalimutan mga kapatid ang katotohanan ng ito sa araw na ito. We serve Christ well by exalting Him in every way. Napakabuti ng ating paglilingkod kay Kristo sa pamamagitan na, ng uh, pagdadakila sa, kanyang, uh, sa Kanya sa lahat ng uri ng paraan. So una, mula sa Colossians 1.24, dinadakila natin si Kristo in our trials by enduring them joyfully para sa kanyang kapakanan at sa kanyang iglesia because He is Lord over all. So, pangalawa, ayon sa verse 25, mga kaibigan, dinadakila natin si Kristo sa ating paglilingkod by doing it in the power of His Holy Spirit as stewards appointed by Him. So, sinasabi ni Apostle Pablo that he was made or became a minister. Uh, paano pa ito nangyayari? According sa Galatians chapter 1 verse 15 sinasabi ni Paul that God had set him apart from his mother's womb. Pinili po siya ng Diyos uh, na magamit sa ministry. So ikaw din pinili din kayo ng Panginoon ayon sa ministry. Kahit ano ang inyong mga gawain na maluwalhati ang Diyos, iyan po ang inyong ministry. Kahit po ikaw ay nasa malubhang sakit, nasa malubhang karamdaman, you are in the ministry. Habang ikaw po ay meron pang hininga. Habang ikaw po ay buhay pa, hindi pa po natatapos ang ministry ng Diyos para sa inyong buhay. Kaya huwag kang mawala ng pag-asa, kapatid. You can serve God in the ministry if Jesus is your Lord over all your life. At ang panghuli, ayon sa Colossians chapter 1, 26, 27, dinadakila natin si Kristo sa ating minsahe by proclaiming God's revelation about the indwelling Christ in the hope of glory for everyone who, who believes. So, ang sinasabi po dito ni Apostle Pablo na ang riches of the glory of the gospel is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Kapag si Kristo ay nasa inyo, you still have the hope of 
glory. So, huwag mawalan ng pag-asa. Kahit ikaw po ay nakaratay sa banig ng karamdaman, still praise God. Dahil po ikaw ay binigyan niya ng malakas na pananampalata. Alam ko kung uh, alam na ng halos lahat sa inyo that if you believe in Jesus Christ and unites with Him in your baptism, ayon sa Galatians 27, He dwells in you and you are going to heaven. Alam ko rin ito at ang tanong ay, do we really know it? Sana kung ang totoong uh, alam natin that the living Christ is in us, sa nakaraang linggo, and we will soon be with Him in glory, magkaroon kaya ng kaibahan ang ating pamumuhay. Magiging impatient kaya tayo, magiging frustrated tayo, magiging angry, magiging grumbling or depressed kaya tayo if we had stopped to consider that Christ is living in us at tayo ay nakadistino sa kanyang glory o kaluwalhatian. Would we have spent our time as we spent it kung aware tayo of the holy presence of Jesus Christ in our heart at lagi po nating isipin ah, o being with Him in glory. Mga kapatid, Christianity is not primarily rules or religious ideas. Ito po ay isang personal uh, relationship with the living, indwelling Christ who has called us to share to His glory. Kaya dinadakila natin siya when we experience and proclaim that message. So ang pagdadakila natin sa araw na ito, Dumako po tayo sa ating communion and let us worship Jesus Christ by remembering His death, His burial, and His resurrection. Sabi ni Jesus, this is my body which is broken for you. Take it. This is uh, uh, a remembrance for me. After supper, He took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it. And remembrance of me. Let us remember Jesus Christ. Tayo po ay manalangin. Almighty Father in heaven, help us to discern what is being preached in the midst of us. That Lord, even the Apostle Paul, his suffering is bearable no matter how um, painful his suffering had uh, become. Paul still bear that suffering because Jesus lives in him. Lord, whatever problems we are facing right now, help us to remember that we can survive because Jesus is in us. Bless us, forgive us. Thank you for everyone who watched this um, message. This is our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.